वेलकम टू एन एस की मेडिकल माइक्रोबायोलॉजी क्लासेस माई सेल्फ निखत रिसर्च एनालिस्ट ऑफ एरा यूनिवर्सिटी टूडे आई विल डिस्कस विद द टॉपिक ऑफ यूरनरी ट्रैक्ट इन्फेक्शन बिफोर द स्टार्ट वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड प्लेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू कैन गेट अपडेट्स ऑफ माई अपकमिंग वीडियोज सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रेंड The first slide shows overview of urinary tract infection. It is the most common infection which is caused by many various types of microorganism such as bacteria, fungus and the viruses. Almost 30 to 40% of specimen received in microbiology lab are urine specimen to identify these infections. Next is the diagnostic information is important for the clinician because the diagnostic test gives information that the UTI infection cause which types of organism the and the clinician treat patients according to the report the appropriate clinical information gives many clues for better diagnostic evaluation the next is specimen collection is the primary objective in getting an ideal samples The definition of the urinary tract infection is the infection of one or more structures in the urinary system. The urinary system is composed of many parts of your body such as kidney, a uh, urinary bladder and the ureter. Do not include the urethra uh, because the urethra infection is called the urethritis. It does not cause uh, any types of bacteria, microorganism, viruses or the fungus. It just inflammation of the urethra uh, because of the different clinical syndromes as we can show the pictures of uh, lights uh, the kidneys present over there both sides of kidneys and ureter and the, the urinary bladder and uh, as we can see that uh, the microorganism is spread the kidney to uh, bladder how to spread the microorganisms uh, kidney to the urinary bladder The next is the predisposing factors uh, which are affected by the urinary tract infection. The first factor is gender. Gender means uh, male or female. Uh, because of the most most commonly cause uh, UTI infections is present in females was then uh, in compared to the male. So, so it is the it is a factor. It is a predisposing factor uh, which is affected by the urinary tract infection. Next is sexual activity and the pregnancy and the third is obstruction. So what is the obstruction what is obstruction the obstruction is a ureteral obstruction is a blockage in one or both of the tubes ureter that carry urine from the kidney to the bladder it is cured uh, it is cured and the fourth is neurogenic bladder dysfunction the neurogenic bladder dysfunction caused by harmful bacteria viruses yeast uh, which is growing in urinary tract and the next is vesicule retral vesicular retral reflex the vesicular retral reflex present in infants and children uh, so uh, it is a uh, um, higher risk of uti infection increase in in this people in this people such as infants and childs and the next is bacteria virulence factors bacteria virulence factors means uh, types of bacteria uh, bacteria present uh, the virulence factors such as pili fimbriae uh, it is toxic if some bacteria are a uh, secreted tox toxin toxin so uh, so it's caused uti infection and the last is genetic factors the next is women are at more risk for uh, urinary tract infection because the urethra is shorter in length 4 cm its proximity to anus uh, in women in women the uti infections most commonly found because of the uh, shorter length Prox its proximity to anus 4 cm almost Next is UTI. UTI divided into two parts. First is the upper portion, and the second is the la lower portion. The po upper portion is pre upper portion present uh, over the kidney, and the lower portion is present uh, urinary bladder. The upper portion kidney consists of uh, uh, renal pelvis and the ureter, and uh, the renal pelvis caused pyelitis, and the uh, upper portion kidney caused pyelonephritis. It is present in above side, so it is no so it is known as the ascending. and the lower portion is known as urinary bladder is uh, known as cystitis and the urethra ureth urethra cause inflammation and um, which is known as urethritis as we can see in this picture the kidney are present here and the ureth descending sides uh, bladder and the expecting muscle and urethra is also present the ureter is divided into two parts uncomplicated and the complicated uncomplicated uti it is acute cystitis or pyelonephritis in young women 
without underlying urinary tract or systematic disease in systematic disease which are uh, which are circulated by the blood it is also known as septicemia the complicated uti uh, first is cystitis or pyelonephritis which are present in ascending part of the uh, kidney cystitis or pyelonephritis is present in males and children chronically catheterized patients women and recurrent infections urologic abnormalities or underlying disease both urine analysis and urine culture are required for complicated cystitis in all cases of pyelonephritis urine analysis means microscopic examination which are tested in uh, microbiology lab the uti may be asymptomatic but it is usually characterized by some common uh, symptoms are over there the first is urgency frequency of micturition micturition uh, means that uh, the removal of the urine discomfort and pain in abdomen or on passing urine uh, so it is the infection is severe mm, uh, uh, if infection is severe the vis uh, the visible blood and pulse in the urine uh, fever and back pain of an accompany kidney infections the common sites and microbes are patients in majority of cases present with infection of urinary bladder and called as cystitis most common pathogens is e coli uh, as we can see picture uh, kidneys and the ureter urinary bladder and sphincter urethra, uh, urethra. next is common pathogen causing uti the first is enterobacteriaceae family uh, the most common microorganisms are e coli klebsiella pneumoniae uh, var aerogenes or oxytoca as well as the proteus proteus species mirabilis and other coliforms the pseudomonas aeruginosa and the staphylococcus aureus which are a cocaine shaped it is also known as gpc yeah. positive cocci and the next is staphylococcus epidermidis which is present in elderly men and the staphylococcus saprophyticus which are present in young women the streptococcus faecalis and the candida can cause infection in diabetic patient or immunocompromised patient immunocompromised patients means that those patients um, which are present other types of diseases are also present means uh, the candida infections um, uh, have uh, infected infected with, with this uh, with this types of uti infection as well as other types of infections such as aids hiv and the mycobacterium tuberculosis tb tb yeah. other is diabetic uh, so uh, candida can cause infection in uh, compromised patients E. coli is the most commonest urinary pathogen, causing 60 to 90 percent of urinary tract infections. Pseudomonas, Proteus, Klebsiella, and Sorius are associated with hospital-acquired infections because they are resistant of antibiotic fever. There is selection in hospital patients. Proteus and Corini bacterium, Urealiticum, and urea splitters alkalizing urine and predisposing to stone formation. The saprophyticus infections are found in sexually active young women. Infection of the anterior uh, urinary tract urethritis is mainly caused by Neisseria gonorrhoeae, Staphylococci, Streptococci, and the Chlamydia. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is carried in blood to kidney from another site of infection. Example: respiratory TB. TB means tuberculosis. Uh, mycobacterium tuberculosis. The pathophysiology of urinary tract infection is ascending route of infection most common, and the colonization of urethra and periurethral tissue by uropathogens and the initial. event in urinary tract infection once in the bladder uropathogens multiply then pass of the ureters especially if vesicular retro reflex present to the renal pelvis and parenchyma source of uropathogens enteric bacteria enteric bacteria means intestinal bacteria uh, the hospital infection associated with lower urine tract instrumentation catheterization and cystoscopy The serious infection associated with UTI, the acute pyelitis, pyelonephritis, may lead to bacteremia. Detected by blood culture, blood culture is the uh, blood culture is the technique uh, as well as no testing uh, which are detected uh, the microorganisms. Um, a prominent infection with Staphylococcus aureus can cause above manifestations. so now the next slide is uh, lab diagnosis of uti so how can we diagnose the uti infection so firstly we collected the specimen uh, first the urine collected in a white mouth container such as universal container and from patients most commonly samples are collected in the midstream urine uh, which is most ideal for processing the midstream uh, clean cash technique uh, hands should be washed before beginning 
The female patient, the periurethral area and perineum are first cleansed with two to three gauze pads saturated with soapy water. Using power to back motion followed by rinse with sterile saline or water. Patient passes urine with a labia separated and mid stream sample is collected. In males, the external head of the penis is similarly cleansed and rinsed. The patient is then instructed to begin to urinate and the urine is collected in the stream into the sterile container. The collecting urine in infants and uh, children differ from adults. Okay, so next uh, in infants, a urinary collection bag, a uh, plastic bag with an adhesive seal on one end, uh, it is attached over the labia in girls or a boy's penis to collect the specimen. Okay, now next is specimen collected in young and children. Non-invasive methods are safe and ideal by tapping just above the pubis with two fingers, place or suprapubic region after one hour of feet. Tapping on at the rate of one tap per second for a period of one minute. If not successful, tapping is repeated once again. The child spontaneously passes the urine and to be collected in a striped container. The catheterized urine. Another method is the catheterized urine specimen which a lubricated catheter is inserted through the urethra into the bladder. This avoids contamination from the urethra or external genitalia. The next is suprapubic puncture or technically demanding method. Collect a urine sample by inserting a needle directly into the bladder, suprapubic tap and draining the urine. This method is used only when a sample is needed quickly and technically component staff are available. Otherwise, it's avoid. First urine passed in the day, early morning urine EMU, three complete EMUs should be sent into the laboratory where they are centrifuges and their deposit examin examined by microscopical and culture test, refrigerated pending processing. Urethritis and prostitis, the initial flow of urine rather than a midstream specimen should be examined. Acute prostitis, differential culturing of urine. Transport of urine for culturing, all collected specimen of urine to be transported to the laboratory without delay. Delay of 1 to 2 hour due to the quality of diagnostic evaluation. If the delay is anticipated, the specimen are at preserved at 4 degrees Celsius. Means that average 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. In the field conditions, boric acid can be added at a concentration of 1.8%. Diagnosis of UTI. The simple microscopic examination of wet films of unconcentrated urine for detection of polymorphonuclear leukocytes, pus cells, giving leading clues. Semi quantitative culture of urine to determine whether urine contains potentially pathogenic bacteria in number sufficient to identif identify it as causative agent causing infection. Wet film examination of urine, uh, as, uh, as we can see that uh, the pictures are over there. Uh, this picture shows uh, various types of uh, pus cells present here. Uh, uh, all wet films to be X++ plus 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 and aimed with high power for takes objective. Prepare the drop of urine after mixing the urine without centrifugation. Transfer 0.05 ml on the middle of the microscope slide and cover slide is applied. Culturing of urine for isolation of bacterial pathogens versus quantitative to laborious for urine uh, routine use methods are pore plate method and the surface viable count. Second is semi quantitative methods, quicker methods like the media for common isolate versus nutrient agar, blood agar, mekongi agar, and the clad agar. Clad agar is the special types of media. Culturing of urine for isolation of bacterial pathogens, the mekongi agars, and the clad. The helps differentiation of lactose fermenting organism from non-lactose fermenting pathogens and the inhibiting protease from, uh, from sawming. Lactose fermenting uh, bacilli is uh, known as uh, the E. coli and the non-lactose fermenting uh, bacilli such as uh, other types of microorganisms such as chlamydia and uh, it is confirmed by the biochemical test uh, and uh, the protease, protease sawming inhibited by the, uh, these types of media. Culture media for isolation, clad media, it is also an excellent universal culture medium owing to it is wide spectrum of nutrients, lack of inhibitors and it is all allows a certain degree of differentiation between the colonies. It colonies lactose as a reactive compound which when degraded to acid causes bromothymol blue to change its color to yellow. Alkalinization produces a deep blue coloration. The lack of electrolytes suppresses the sum of uterus proteus. Culture media for isolation, the blood agar helps in isolation of fast areas, extracting strains, 
the it's standard incubation for isolation of pathogens for more than 42 48 hours with the added atmosphere of 5 to 10 percent co2 the semi quantitative culture the standard loop method filter paper method and a deep slide method an inoculating loop of standard dimensions is used to take up a small approximately fixed and known volume of mix and centrifuge urine and spread it over a plate of agar culture media. The plate is incubated the number of colonies counted or estimated and this number is used to calculate the number of viable bacteria per ml of urine. The reading of the culture plate is the true infection in the absence of prior antibiotic therapy. The number of bacteria is likely to be resistant to power 5 or more exceptions. Slow growing organism patients on antibiotic therapy and diuretic therapy. The contaminated specimen present with colony counts uh, less than 10 to the power 4. More than 10 to, sorry, uh, more to the 10 to the power 4, however, even less than 10 to the power 3. On several occasions, the colonies are diverse species. The several species proofs count less than 20, uh, 10 to the power 4 to be considered as presence of urinary tract infection with a supporting clinical history. On some occasions, more than one pathogen is isolated, such as E. coli, uh, along with Streptococcus physalis. A good coordination between a microbiologist and physician is the best solution associated with best result in patient with urinary tract infections. The significant bacteria significantly colony count. Uh, 100,000 or more colonies per ml of urine form a midstream. The cast suggested the number of the about 10 to the power 5 per ml of urine or more that is significant bacteriuria. The gram positive in fungi, the counts may be more than 10 to the power 5. The gram positive fungal and fastidious uropathogen often present in lower number 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 5 colony forming units per ml urine. The next is uh, antibiotic sensitivity testing. All the isolated bacteria identify as pathogenic to be tested for antibiotic sensitivity resistance pattern by this diffusion method. As we can show the pictures, the nutrient agar plates are present over there, and the discs are placed in this. Um, discs are placed in this plate. Uh, five discs are present here. These discs are surrounded. A zone uh, pre, uh, zone is present after the incubation. And the zone is indicate the drug is sensitive and the, while the zones are not uh, present and the drug is resistant. The antibiotic selection if the patient is attending a general practice outpatient clinic drug suitable by oral administration should be selected. The discs are with defined content to test the pathogens in the urine. The discs are present here the amoxicillin or ampicillin 25, cephalexin 30 microgram, nalidixic acid 30 microgram, ciprofloxacin and norfloxacin 5 microgram, nitrofurantine 50 microgram and the trimethoprim 2.5 microgram. Dealing with UTI, follow-up examination of patients with UTI is important if neglected can lead to chronic and permanent complications. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Thank you so much.